Hey guys, this is Meeks, and uh, I'm pretty familiar with Gen 1 Pokemon. A and quite a daring thought has crossed my mind. Which one of them can I beat in a fight? Just a little disclaimer before everyone loses their minds. Uh, I'm pretty sure that most Pokemon could probably kill me in a fight. I'm just going to assume that I get the first hit. Just so, like, small bug Pokemon don't get an unfair advantage, like Paris having Stun Spore or something like that that immediately paralyzes me. I, I don't know. So here we have Gen 1 Pokemon starting from Bulbasaur all the way down to Mew. I, I'm going to rank them from would absolutely destroy to tough fight, but I win 50, 50 tough fight, but I lose. And I got shellapped. <laughs> We're going to get started. So Bulbasaur, good old number one, good old OG Bulbasaur. He's pretty small. If I recall, I'm just going to go ahead and pull him up on Pokemon DB. Yeah. Okay. So he's about two feet high, weighs 15 pounds. No, that's it. This guy's getting football kicked. I'm going to put him in the absolutely destroy. There's no way this little green frog wins. His older brother, on the other hand. Ivysaur, okay, a little bit heavier. Still three feet high, though. And most of it is bush. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say tough fight, but I win. That might be a hot take, but I'm pretty sure tough fight, but I win. If I if I approach this thing first, just give it a swift kick to the face, I think it's, I think it's toast. It's game over. Venusaur. Okay, Venusaur is an absolute unit. Six feet high. Okay, it's still the same thing. A lot of, lot, of, lot of plant there. But 220, this thing is a fridge. I think I get slapped. I can't take on a 220 pound Pokemon. There is no way I take I take this thing on and win. Charmander. Uh, Charmander is still pretty small. Still, no problem. Would absolutely destroy. It. Hands down. I don't even have to ask questions here. Charmeleon. Okay, I think there's a bit of a. I think there's a bit of a a gap here. Oh, he's still only three feet high, but he's a little bit heavier than Ivysaur. You know what? I think this is a 50-50, depending on where I'm at. Because if I'm near a lake or a body of water, I could just pick this thing up, yeet it right into the body of water. That's it. Good night. Any other situation, I think I lose. Charizard. Okay. Um, I don't even have to question that. I think I lose. If Pokemon na made like nine variations of this Pokemon, I can guarantee you, even in the Kanto form, he kills me. Okay. Squirtle. Okay. Th this is a no no brainer here. War Turtle. Okay. War Turtle's a little bit heavier. I think. I think War Turtle. Oh, ooh, he's he's thick. Damn boy. So three feet high once again, but he's 50 pounds. I think this is a tough fight, but I lose. I think he's pretty defensive. And unlike the Charmeleon situation, I think a body of water might actually help him. Blastoise, I'm pretty sure every every starter Pokemon is just a lights out for me. Oh, <laughs> we entered my favorite section, the bug section. I, I, I'm fairly confident that I could take on a Caterpie. I think there should be a category above this. I'm going to add a category above this. It's going to be called Good Night. He's going to go into the Good Night category. This guy's lights out. It's it, it, don't even don't even bother. Have a nice sleep. Okay, Metapod, same thing. <laughs> Any of these bug Pokémon. Okay, Butterfree, I wouldn't put in the Good Night section, but I'm pretty sure Butterfree would I would absolutely destroy. I mean, how big is Butterfree? How how big is Butterfree? 70 pounds? What? How is this thing flying? Okay, I, you know what? I'm actually going to bump that down to tough fight, but I win. 70 pounds. That's a lot of mass. Weedle, good night. Sleep tight. Kakuna, sleep tight. Have yourself a great nap. Uh, Beedrill. Okay, how big is Beedrill? Oh, not it. How? What? How is this not as heavy as Butterfree? Anyways, I think I lose. My reasoning for Beedrill being tough fight, but I lose. This thing has stingers. Not one, not two, but three stingers. Pidgey. That's an easy, I would absolutely destroy. How, how big is Pidgey? Oh, <laughs> four pounds at one foot high? Four, no, good night. Good night, see you later. Pidgeotto. Yeah, Pidgeotto is a little bit bigger, I know that. Oh, okay, we jumped up pretty heavy here. From four pounds to 66 pounds. That is a big upgrade. Uh, I think that's a tough fight, but I lose. Like That's the equivalent of me fighting a giant bird. I'm pretty sure I lose that battle. Okay, now Pidgeot. Uh, I'm pretty sure I get slapped. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. He's got longer, luxurious hair. I think that, that alone is just enough to set me over. <laughs> a rat. He's a rat. Good night, rat. Good night. See you later. Seven pound rat? I still think good night category is, is appropriate. Okay, Raticate. 40 pounds. It's only two feet high. I think I take this. I think I take this all day. I think I could destroy a rat. Okay, Spe Spiro. I don't know how big Spiro is. Oh, four and a half pounds. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bug bugs bite. Don't let these guys bite you. You're in the same bed. Okay, Firo, on the other hand, is an absolute unit. 83 pounds. 
No. I think I think I get slapped here. I probably put it in the same category as Pidgeot. I get slapped. Ekans. Okay, that's I don't think it's that heavy. Okay, 15 pounds. Six foot long, but that's that's unwound. I think I think it's a tough fight, but I win. I just unravel this thing, grab it by the head, and whoo! Gone. Arbok, on the other hand. Okay, hang on. Arbok is a lot bigger. Whoa. Eleven feet long. 143 pounds. That is a giant snake. That is a giant primordial snake. No, I get slapped. Good night. Pikachu. Oh, we love Pikachu. So Pikachu being the mascot of Pokemon, I don't care. You're a mouse. You're tiny. I would absolutely destroy. His older brother, Raichu. Raichu, 66 pounds. He beefed up. I think this is a tough fight, but I lose. I think I won't be able to one-hit this thing, and after it gets one look at me, I, I might I might be shocked for days. Sandshrew? Uh, tough fight, but I win. I, I'm going to do this under the same premise as the Charmeleon case. It's small. I can probably pick it up and throw it in water, but because it's a lot smaller than Charmeleon, I think I can handle it a little bit easier. Sand Slash. Okay, Sand Slash, I think... I think I get slapped. 65 pounds, three feet. It's pretty short, but God, those razors, that's going to hurt. I think I lose. I think I lose every time here. Nidoran. What even is Nidoran? Is that a rat? Like, what is that? Poison pin Pokemon. What is even, what even is that? It's 50. All I know is 15 pounds sitting at a foot high. I would absolutely destroy. Nidorina, on the other, on the other hand, a bit bigger. Two feet high, 44 pounds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this at 50-50. I think it's small enough that I can do some damage, depending on, on how I'm feeling that day. But it's still not small enough that I can win easily. Okay, Needle Queen. I think this is an easy I get slapped, but I want to see the, the, the specs on this thing. Oh, it's only four feet high and only 130? I thought it'd be I thought it'd be a lot bigger than that. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I get slapped because I'm pretty sure uh, this thing could... Either squeeze me to death or uh, earthquake me or something like that, and I'm host. Nidoran. Okay, the the male for the male version. I'm gonna put this in the same category. I think this is the same. I don't know what it is about Nidorino, but the four legs as opposed to two. I feel like that would be harder to deal with. You might be faster. I'm gonna go tough fight, but I lose. I think Nidorino is faster just by the nature of having being on all fours, and the charging attack might actually hurt me more than I, than a Nidorina would. Nido King. <laughs> If Nido Queen was I get slapped, Nido King is absolutely I get slapped. I want to know what the difference is here. Still, only four foot high in 136. I think this would be. I thought I would have thought that would have been a lot heavier. It looks like he carries a lot more weight than he does. Here we go, Clefairy. Not only would I absolutely destroy Clefairy, I would probably enjoy it. They are so annoying, and they're so small. This thing, one football kick, Gonzo, Clefay Bull, just gut feel. I think it's a. I think it's also, I think it's a tough fight, but I win. I I, I want to see how big Clefable is. Yeah, it's only 88 pounds. It's four feet high, 88 pounds. It's definitely a lot less dense than the Needle King. Uh, but I definitely think it might be a tough fight, but I win. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident on that. Vulpix, um, tough fight, but I win. I think that's a tough fight, but I win. Actually, how big is Vulpix? Ooh, Vulpix is only 21 pounds. No, I think I absolutely destroy. I would absolutely destroy Vulpix. No problem. Nine Tails is a lot bigger. I think I immediately get slapped. There's no way I'm going up against the Nine Tails. Jigglypuff. Good night. Good night. Wigglytuff. Good night. As curtains for you guys. Zubat. Yeah, I would destroy. No problem. No questions asked. After after encountering so many of them in the cave, I would violently destroy Golbat. I think it's a tough fight, but I lose. Golbat's pretty big. I'm so tempted to just punch this thing in the mouth. 121 pounds! Whoa! That's a lot bigger than I thought. Still, very tempting to just drop kick this thing right in the mouth. That being said, I think I still lose. Oddish, good night. You're ending up in my soup. Gloom, um, would absolutely destroy. Gloom, no problem. That's just, I'm just gonna kick you. Vile Plume? I think Vile Plume's actually really big. Oh, wow. Okay, it's not that big. 41 pounds. I'm gonna put this as a tough fight, but I lose. I think um, Vile Plume, I won't be able to one hit, and I think it's gonna be a tough fight for me to actually take it down, but um, yeah, well, that's 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 the way she goes there. Paris, uh, you're curb stomped. Easy, easy win there. Paris Sect? No, you know what? This is a tough fight, but I lose. I think it'll put up a little bit of a fight, but I think it will win 
I mean, look at those, look at those, like, pincer things there, let alone the abilities, like, like, stun, stun spore, or, like, anything like that. And I actually might become infected from this mushroom disease, so that's, that's another thing. Venonat, uh, the Pokemon that should have become Butterfree. I don't know why it's not. Uh, destroy. No problem. I think Venonat's actually really small. Wait, what? It's three feet high and 66 pounds? It just looks very fragile. I don't know what it, what it, what about it. It just looks like I if I kicked it, it would probably do some damage, like irreversible damage. I think I'd destroy. I think it's an easy destroy. Venomoth. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the same category as tough fight, but I lose. I think it's. Let me see how big it is, brother. How is this thing lighter than Venonet? Dude, what? No, this should have been. Well, hang on, hang on, chill. Can we just can we just take this in for a second? Venonet and Butterfree. Look at the similarities, guys. Look. They have the same mouth and the same eyes and the same antenna. Is bigger th like the next form is bigger than this one. Why? And they have the same ability, compound eyes. What the? F and tinted lenses. There's no way. There's this is a this is a mistake. Okay, sorry. I just had to rant there. Why? I I don't know. Po Pokemon. What's going on? Figure it out. Diglett. Uh, I rip you out of the ground and throw you in a lake. That's that's easy. Easy win. Doug Trio. I think it's just triple the effort, so therefore tough fight. I'm just gonna grab three of you and take and throw you into a lake. Meowth. This is just a cat. Absolutely destroyed. No problem. I think I can handle a cat. Okay, this one's a bigger cat. This might actually be a, like a tiger-sized cat. What are we dealing with here? What are we dealing with here? That is a 70-pound cat. No, that that is like a small mountain lion. I think I lose. I think it's a tough fight, but I lose. Psyduck is a tough fight, but I win. I think Psyduck's pretty heavy. I'm not going to lie. Golduck? I'm going to put this in tough fight, but I lose. Yeah, Golduck is 168 pounds. He just looks more intimidating than Psyduck. I mean, Psyduck, Psyduck's only 43 pounds. And then when you level up to Golduck, that's like literally 4x the size. Mankey? Mankey's just a small monkey. I think it's a tough fight, but I... No, you know what? I'm, I'm going to put 50-50. Monkeys can do some serious damage. Primate? Uh, I think I get slapped. There's no way I beat a primate. Not even, not even close. Growlithe is this is essentially a dog. I think this is a 50-50. This could go either way. Okay, our first pseudo legendary Pokemon. There is no question. There is no question. No, no cinematic universe where I beat this thing, or even come close to beating this thing. So that isn't easy. I get slapped. Poliwag, a literal tadpole. You're going to bed. Poliwhirl. A literal tadpole. Not going quite to bed, but I'm pretty sure I would absolutely destroy. Holy wrath. Okay, I think this this belongs in the probably I get slapped. I believe it's a fighting type too, right? Am I wrong about that? Yeah, it is water fighting. 119 pounds? Dude, this thing's a monster. Okay, I think I I think I get slapped easy. Abra. Uh that's I would absolutely destroy. I what is that? Like what even is that? I don't it's not like a monkey or anything. Like what what even is an Abra? Kadabra? I think it's a tough fight, but I lose. Alakazam, even I think I get slapped by Alakazam. The, the, I, I think his IQ is out like what, like four thousand or something like that? Let me see. Its brain can outperform a supercomputer. Its into intelligence quotient is said to be five thousand. Dude, that's that's uh it's a pretty high number. A Pokemon that can memorize anything and never forgets what it learns. Brother, I have to teach you only four moves. What are these? What are these entries? Carrying on. Machop. Machop's really tough. I think this is a tough fight, but I lose. I think I might be able to put up a little bit of a scrap with Machop, but after that, nope. You guys could already imagine. Machoke. Just out of curiosity, I gotta know how much this thing weighs. 150 at 411. This thing's built. It's literally a super power Pokemon. I'm not gonna win. And guys... If I couldn't handle him with two arms, what do you think's gonna happen if I just give him another set? I get slapped. I, I'm done. I'm done. Let, I gotta know. I gotta know. What, what are we looking at here? A champ. 286? This guy's a lean 280 at five foot? You don't want to mess with this guy. Using its heavy muscles, it throws powerful punches that can send vic uh, the victim clear over the horizon. In other words, I get slapped. Bellsprout, I would absolutely destroy, no questions asked. Rip it out of the ground, that's it. Done. That's curtains for you. Weeping Bell, I don't think Weeping Bells are that big. I think it's gonna be a tough fight, but I win. Victory Bell, I think this is a tough fight, but I lose. Tentacool, uh, probably tough fight, but I win. It's, it's just, at the end of the day, it's a jellyfish. Tentacruel, though, that is a big fish. Wait, what? Why is he only five foot? I swear, I've seen the anime where he's got- They're giant. What the- What, what even is this? Uh, still, 121. I'm fighting this thing in the ocean. It's- It's been nice. It's been nice. Uh, it's nice knowing you guys. Okay, Geodude. This is a- This is a true 50-50. Because Geodude is literally a rock. 
And guess what rocks don't like? Rocks don't like getting thrown in water. So if I'm near a body of water, all it takes is me to grab one of his little arms and just whoosh right in the water, bottom of the lake, smell you. However, if I'm not near a wa body of water, that's curtains for me. Graveler. I think anything after Geodude, I if I can't pick you up, I think that's it. I get schlapped. Golem? doesn't look that intimidating compared to Graveler. They, they look like complete different Pokemon. Like, why? I mean, I get the similarities to Geodude. It's got the arms inside, but, like, this looks like a different, like, Pokemon in general. It's like they added, like, a reptile face to him. Like, wh why did they do that? Like, it was it was cool as this, but Alolan? Holy shit. Holy shit! This guy looks crazy! What are they do? They lost his arms. They gave him a giant magnet. Well, why did they... Anyways, carry on. Uh, Ponyta, I, uh, I think this is, uh, tough... No, not even. I think I get slapped by Pony There's no way. That's a that's a pony. That is a horse. I can't fight a horse. And brother, I can't fight the the older version of the horse. Good night. Slowpoke. I think this is an absolutely. I absolutely would destroy. No problem. This thing moves at like negative three and a half kilometers. I think it just destroys itself at this point. Slow bro. I think this is a tough fight, but I lose. Slowbro is considerably bigger than Slowpoke. Okay, Slowbro is five foot high, 171, thick as hell. I think I'd be able to put up a little bit of a fight though, but I, I, there's no way I'm handling that. <laughs> what did they do to Mega Slowbro? Why did they do this? What? <laughs> oh man, I, you know what? I, I like the OG one. The OG one's the best. Magnemite. I, I think this is a tough fight, but I lose. I'll be able to put up a little bit of a fight. It's metal. It is literally metal. I can't fight metal. Magneton. Uh, no, that's it. I get slapped. I get slapped. I can't handle, I can't handle, I can barely handle one. I can't handle three of them at the same time. Uh, Farfetch'd. This is just a bird. I think this is a tough fight, but I win. It looks like a really pissed off bird. I don't, I wouldn't like getting hit with a leak. I, 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 the only reason I'm putting tough fight, but I win because it looks really pissed off and he's got a weapon. Doduo, this is an ostrich with two heads. I don't think I could fight an ostrich, but I think I could put up a little bit of a fight. Tough fight, but I lose. Dodrio, this is an ostrich with three heads, but a lot faster. I think I got slapped. Okay, this list is growing. We need to un we, we need to zoom out. Seal. Um. Okay, so seal is a, a seal. I I don't think I could face the seal. I think it's pretty big. Let's let's have a look. Oh, what? One hundred ninety four pounds? Nah, dude. I think this is a tough fight, but I lose. This is a tough fight, but I lose. No problem. Dugong? I I actually I'm curious. How big is Dugong? Two sixty four. Yeah, this this thing's an absolute fridge. There's no way. There's no way. I'm getting slapped. Grimer. Basically, just a chemical waste spill. I, I don't think I could fight that. I think I think I just get slapped. The only way you could fight waste is by recycling, my friends. Muck, just bigger waste. I, I get I get slapped. No problem. Shelter, I think it's small enough. This is a tough fight, but I win. Pro I, I could probably give it a few kicks, and, and, and that's it for Shelter. Cloister, I don't think I win in any situation here. I would probably punch the outside of the shell, and it would probably laugh at me. Okay, the next three Pokemon. Come on, guys. These are ghosts. I can't kill what's already dead. So I'm... <laughs> I get slapped. Every single one of them. They're all dead. They're all right. I mean, or when I put them in the good night, because I already... They're dead. Okay, we've, we've arrived at the 1,000-pound uh, rock snake. I'm curious. I gotta know. Okay, he's not 1,000 pounds, but 463 literal rock snake. Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's any universe I win this. I get slapped. Drowsy... <laughs> I feel like this is just like a regular dude. Like I'm just like punching a regular guy. Actually, I'm I'm I want to know. This has just been an educational ride for me here. Okay, he's not he's not the size of a regular dude. Ah, oh, three feet, only seventy one pounds. You know what? I think I could do damage. This is probably a 50-50. Hypno might hypnotize me. Okay, now we're getting into like pretty beefy size here. Five foot one sixty, and he's got a he's got a ring that would hypnotize me. I think I think this is a tough fight, but I lose. I think I could get a punch in. And that's about it. Crabby. That's that's an actual crab. I'm pretty sure Pokemon has probably already dealt with infestations of crabbies. I'm <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can handle one. Kingler. Okay, Kingler is I think I get slapped. I think there's no way I even approach a Kingler. Kingler is it's it's four feet high and weighs 132 pounds and has a giant claw that can rip my face off. Voltorb? I'm gonna throw Voltorb over the fence. Let alone destroy. I this is an easy destroy. Barring the self-destruct. I think this is probably a quick throw into a lake. Electrode. Okay, this is where things turn around. Electrode is a 3 foot 11, 146 ball of steel. I think I lose. I can't even, I don't think I even put up a fight. I just immediately lose. It's either you're small enough to throw in a lake, 
or big enough to roll over me. And I think Electrode hit that mark. Execute, you are literally eggs. I, I have the, I had this for breakfast this morning. I had eggs for breakfast this morning. Executor is a tree, and I can't fight a tree, so I'm gonna get slapped. Cubone. This is a tough fight, but I win. Like, Cubone's small enough. I think it's around the same size as Charmander, and the only reason I'm putting it in the tough fight, but I win, is because it's got that little bone there, and it's got a little bit of protection, and it's seen some sh Marowak, the pissed off version of Cubone. I think this is a tough fight, but I lose. Marowak is three foot high, 99 pounds. Yeah, I could probably do some damage, but I think it would ultimately win. <sighs> and now we're getting into the, the boxing Pokemon. Hitmonlee, I'm getting kicked in the face. Hitmonchan, I'm getting punched in the face. There is no way I'm even coming close to winning against those guys. Lickitung, Lickitung's a big, ugly Pokemon. What even is that? It's a, it's a Pokemon with a giant tongue. It's also 144 pounds. I, I I actually, I have no idea how to even approach this thing, but I think it's a 50-50. Coughing, this is literally a floating ball of poisonous gas. I don't know. I feel like it's flammable. It probably is. I'm going to put it in that I would absolutely destroy. I feel like it, it, I feel like it's on the verge of death anyways. Weezing is just a bigger version of coughing. So I think tough fight, but I win. Oh, never mind. Never mind. This thing's 20 pounds. And it's it, it just looks unhealthy. So you know what? That's an absolute destroy. I'm 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 I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident in that. Rhyhorn. This is a rhinoceros. And it's not just a rhinoceros. It is a rock rhinoceros. It's three foot high, 253 pounds. This thing hits me. I'm I'm dead. I, I I'm dead on impact. Rhydon. This is literally just a bigger version of Rhyhorn. He's not that much bigger, but he stands taller. He's about 30 pounds heavier. Still, there's, he's made of rock. I can't, I can't, I can't even get near him. Chansey, I would feel horrible for punching a Chansey. That does not change the fact that I would absolutely destroy. Tangela, uh, that's easy. I would absolutely destroy. Just pull on one of its tangles. I would make it untangle -a. Kangaskhan, I think, I think this is the same. I get slapped. I, I would put him at the same build as Rhydon, but he's got a little kid and the little kid would probably laugh the entire time, which would make me feel horrible. Horsey, oh, no, that's a good night. That that is that that's been a, that's been our first good night in a while. I think I could probably smash it with my feet while just playing in the sand. I could I might accidentally step on one. Seedra, I think I get slapped. Seedras are big, fast. It's a dragon Pokemon. I think it's dragon. Yeah, it's a dragon Pokemon. I still think this thing is super fast and 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 very dangerous. So I think I get slapped. Goldeen, that is a goldfish. Destroyed, no problem. Sea King, I feel like Sea King and Seedra are like the same the same problem. They're big, they're in the water, and I can't even land a hit. They're just, they're gonna kill me. Star you? That is an actual starfish? I don't know, actually. I feel like I would put this in the same category as War Turtle. Same idea. Like, I, tough fight, but I lose. Star me? That's just two of that, so I get slapped. No problem. <laughs> Mr. Mime. Brother's a literal clown. 120 pounds at four foot high. I think I can handle him. I, I think it'd be a tough fight, but I think I can handle him. I feel like one punch to the face would all would take, but I think getting that one punch might be a little bit tough. Scyther? Scyther is 4'11", 123, and has blades for hands. That's 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 an easy I get slapped. Jinx? Jinx is a human-shaped Pokemon. I mean, there's a lot of human-shaped Pokemon, but she's actually a human-shaped Pokemon. I would yeah, same classification as Mr. Mime. Say same idea. Electabuzz? Is it a monkey? Like, what is it? What what even is it? What even is it's just What what? It's an electric Pokemon. That's the species, electric. What the? Okay. I mean, if I were if I were to put anything on it, I would say this is a this is an electric monkey or something. Either way, I think I get slapped. Magmar. I think I get slapped, but I want to make a comment here. I hate the design of Magmar. This literally looks like he has a butt on his face. Why did they Why did they do that? Still, I get slapped regardless. Pinsir? No, I think I get slapped. Any Pokemon with horns like that and teeth like that? I th a stag beetle? It's a beetle. Well, 121 pound beetle. I get slapped. I think the rest of this list is going to be I get slapped, but let's carry on. Oh, wait, I know. There's a contender here. Tauros, I get slapped. That's an actual bull. I can't fight a bull. If I were to go fight a bull right now, I'm going to lose. I'll tell you that for free. Magikarp is an easy I would absolutely destroy. It is a fish Pokemon. It makes absolutely no... D you know what? I'm going to be... I'm going to be inclined... Good night. Good night, Magikarp. Now, the challenge is his big brother, Gyarados. I want to see the size of Gyarados. I got to know. Wow, what a glow up. It goes from Magikarp to a 21 foot, 518 pound giant sea dragon. 
needless to say, I get slapped. Lapras, I get slapped. Lapras is really big. Uh, same thing. Uh, you could people ride Lapras. That's a giant Pokemon. I can't fight that. Ditto would probably just copy me. And can I beat myself? That is a true 50-50. It, it's just a draw. It is a draw. You, you can only imitate me. It's like Ditto's gonna use Transform. Who's gonna transform into me? I am confident. I'd lock that in. Eevee small. No problem. Would absolutely destroy every one of these ones. Wait, actually, how big are the evolutions? Yeah, Eevee's only 14 pounds and one foot high. Oh, God, that's an easy destroy. I'm glad I went with that. The evolutions, on the other hand, three foot high, 63 pounds. That's a different story. Two foot high, 54 pounds. About three feet high and 55 pounds. I think I think I lose. Tough fight, but I lose to each one of these. They're pretty, they're pretty big. They're pretty big. Porygon? Uh, tough fight, but I lose again. I think it's gonna put me in the Shadow Realm or whatever mirror universe it put the other... It put Ash, and I, I don't know what... That was a weird episode. And it's made of what looks to be rocks or something. So, I think I lose. Ammonite, that is a tough fight, but I win. Actually, no. Ammonite, I'm actually inclined to go... I would destroy. No problem, Ammonite, I would destroy. It's one foot high. It's a snail. I could stomp on this thing. It's done. I'm a star. Gets a little bit of an upgrade. Three feet high. 77 pounds. That isn't just your regular snail. This is a killer snail. I get slapped. Kabuto? Same situation. This is a little... This is a crab fit. What are these What are these called? No, no. A horseshoe crab. This is a horseshoe crab. I think I could take a horseshoe crab. That is an I would destroy. Kabutops, I would put in the same category as Scyther. Because it is a giant, hardened version of Scyther with swords for hands. Brother. This is a dinosaur. I can't fight a dinosaur. I get slapped. Snorlax, I can't even do any damage on this thing. This thing's a tank. Is he the heaviest Pokemon? He is. Well, in Gen 1, at least. A thousand pounds. Yeah, I won't I won't be able to do any damage on this. I lose immediately. Okay, the, now we're getting into the legendary Pokemon. Legendary birds. I think I lose 10 times out of 10 here. So I'm going to put all the legendary birds as I get slapped. Just out of curiosity. I got to know. I need some stats. I need some stats here. What do we got? Five foot tall bird at 122. Easily. I'm dead. Five foot tall bird at 116. I'm hosed. Six foot tall bird at 132. That is absolute curtains for me. I think Dratini is the only one I could probably, like, with confidence say I would absolutely destroy. 7.3 pounds at five foot 11. I think I could easily take a Dratini. Dragonair is a lot bigger. 13 feet long at 36 pounds. This is probably a tough fight, but I lose. Just given off the weight, I could probably do a little bit of damage, but if if, if it wraps around me, I think I'm done. Dragonite, I think I'm 100% I, I get slapped. Oh yeah, seven foot tall, 463 pound dragon. There's no way. Mewtwo, come on guys. Was that even a question? And Mew, probably same category. Pro I wouldn't be able to even touch them both. Like I wouldn't even be able to come close. That's our list. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of happy how this turned out. I think, uh, th I, I thought there was gonna be a lot more 50-50, but, but I think with Pokemon, it's it's either you win or you lose. I don't think there's any, there's, there's very little room in between. Realistically, if I were fighting any one of these Pokemon and they were to move first, I think 99% of them would be in the I get slapped category. Guys, let me know what you think about this list in the comment section. And you can also comment what list you would like me to try next. If you guys did like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And, uh, we'll catch everybody on the next one. See ya!